Hey riders, how's it going? It's another Tuesday, another ride home review. Uh, this week I saw uh, Marvel's Avengers Infinity War and it stars, well it's directed by the Russo brothers who've done the last couple uh, Captain Americas. They did, uh, um, yeah, they did uh, Civil War and Winter Soldier and it stars every single almost every single character that you can think of from the last 18 marvel movies i can't go through it all here because it'll take up the entire five minutes of how many people will start in this film so but before we move forward don't forget to subscribe uh to ride home reviews on youtube uh, ride home reviews on facebook and instagram and of course we have Ride Home Reviews on the Anchor channel and uh, the podcast uh, on iTunes if you'd like to listen to it audio only. Um, so the premise of this, this movie is it's basically a culmination of the last 10 years of the Marvel Cinematic Universe in which the big bad villain Thanos comes to collect all of the Infinity Stones that there's been a few sparkles here and there uh, throughout all the movie, through the movies up until this point. And he's looking to collect them all so that he can cleanse the universe. Um, and of course, the Avengers are there to fight him. Um, because a couple of the Infinity Stones belong with their friends and so on and so forth. And yeah, what I liked about this movie was it was on a grand scale. It was a culmination of 18 films or 17 films up until this point. Um, it was amazing how they brought that all together and how they brought all these characters onto the screen for this mega uh, blockbuster. It was just insane how they were able to do that in just under three hours of time using a billion locations. Um, and just amazing, amazing team ups, amazing effects, amazing sequences, but not only that, but diving into some of the backstory of some of the characters that have come before, like the relationship between the bad guy Thanos and his daughter Gamora, and Thanos himself, his backstory, and being able to mesh that in with the fact that these heroes are facing imminent doom, um, you know, and that's that's the the whole crux of it, and I am just blown away at how they choreographed this and how they've managed to keep these characters intact and how they managed to give them decent enough screen time since they're all A-listers. It just goes on and on on how this worked out. The CG was insane, was incredible, especially on, on Thanos um, and his children of Thanos, I guess is what they're referred to. Not Nebula and Gamora, but the other, the other baddies that that come into play and I really don't know I mean as for things that I didn't care for there wasn't much uh, there was a what, what was expected was reached and surpassed um, I know that a uh, big disclaimer I'm a Marvel fanboy and so but this the structure of this story was just really Good. I mean, it was it was a culmination. It was a chapter, an end chapter, an end game, and that's exactly what happened. I mean, there were some slow points, and some some of the humor was a little bit off and forced, um, especially between Star Lord and Thor, but or Chris Pat and Chris Hemsworth. But all in all, I thought they they hit a home run with this, and um, it's easily rewatchable, um, and. I was very impressed, and this is the most anticipated movie to cap to start off, to jumpstart the summer season in 2018. And what to watch for is just the character of Thanos. Um, there's some key things in there, key key uh, cameos, but just watch how Josh Brolin does Thanos. It's amazing. So there you have it: Avengers: Infinity War, a must see in the theater, must see, and it's everything that you were hoping for. So until next time, until next week, watch something cool, but especially watch this. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week.